Hi, today I'm flying with Ryan, just back from Oshkosh, and uh, no, Diamond did not offer me a sponsorship deal. I hung around their booth for a while looking forlorn, and they did. Um, Ryan's a CFI at the school. He's going today to get his checkout flight on the Diamond, show me his prowess in flying the Diamond. Yep. Um, for those of you who are new to pilots, whenever you go move to a new plane, you have to get a checkout, checkout flight on it, whether you're a CFI, a renter, a student, whatever. Because uh, planes are a little different than cars. There, there are more differences between planes than cars, so we want to make sure we know how to use everything and fly safe. Um, we talked about the alternator failure. Should you have an alternator failure on a central bus, I think they say 30 minutes to an hour worth of battery right. for your for your avionics. Um, something else to consider in this plane, though, it does have one EMAG in it. Okay. Once you totally lose power, that EMAG will shut down. Got it. So after 30, 40, 45 minutes, whatever, you're going to lose G1000 and one mag. Got it. This guy, at full brightness, runs 30, 40 minutes. But if you use the dim buttons to dim him down to about 60% or so, he'll run three hours. Oh, nice. And that's a full six-pack. Got it. All right. I'll bring canopy down. All right. Canopy's down. If he's down, so normal takeoff, RPM levers, full forward. Throttle will go forward here in a second. Off at 59. Climb out about 63 was what you said. Yep, that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and do that question mark thing. There so you, you wanted the landing light, taxi light. We don't need position. We don't need strobes. Our light are on. Flaps are set for takeoff. Fuel pump will go ahead and turn on. A little, go a little richer. Little richer. About three quarter. But that should be good. Yeah. Good there. Full as tank. Full as tank. About the same. Trim to takeoff. Okay. Cool. All right. We'll switch over to tower here. Star 526 Delta Sierra Concord Tower. Proceed on course. Runway two. Clear for takeoff. Proceed on course, give or take off runway to uh, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, let's rock right. and roll. Oh, yeah. Report Report of power here. To the right the Two two instruments are in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. All right, rotate, uh -huh. rotate, yep. There you go. If you let her stay on the ground, when she gets over 60, she'll start right. dancing around on you. And if you're flying by yourself, sometimes you got to rotate before 50, yeah. 59. Then when would you say we'd put up flaps? I do 500 AGL, so 500, that's, that's about, what, 1,200 feet here. Right. Okay. A little chirp. So now I'd let that nose come down just a little bit, get her up maybe in the low 70s. Okay. I right, approach in 1,200. Go ahead and go flaps up here. Now the flaps up thing, that's not a POH, that, that's just my personal thing. Some people put them up sooner or later. I don't, everybody's got their own method, I guess. Okay. Where and do you usually put them up? Usually, um, honestly, uh, we'll kind of put them up at a safe altitude. So, I mean, honestly, 500 feet would usually make the most okay. sense. That gets rid of that drag, lets you build speed. All right, so, so flaps are up, we'll go ahead and bring those RPMs back to 2400. We're at 1400 feet, I will go ahead and make a right turn out to the east. Then throttle will stay full. Throttle stays full and climbs. Okay. All right, so there's 24 there. We can go up to 3,000 until we get out from under the Bravo. Got it. And then whenever you get a chance, we'll, we'll look at the mixture. I use the EGTs for leaning. Okay. I try to keep everything below 1,500. Got so it. about 1,475 is what we're after on that. All right. So we'll just lean that quite a little bit here. That's just climbing nice today for getting no. hot. All right, how's that? That looks pretty good. All right. Yep, that looks pretty good. All right, 2,400 RPMs. We got throttles full right now. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Then you know your zoom button. Also, some of the uh, instructors are track up people and some are north up people. Yeah. Which are you? Uh, track. Okay. Uh, that's what I am. And that's what it said. It'll tell you right there. If you don't like that, you can press the menu button, go in there, and change it. Got it. Gunter's a uh, north up guy. North up. I said that explains a lot. I don't, north up guys are kind of. <laughs> yeah, Gunter, I'm talking to you if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you wanted to go into slow flight first? Do way, if you want to do steep turns first. Turns. Or just. Just some general stuff, just to get the feel, however you want to do, whatever you're right. comfortable with. We'll do steep turns because we're pretty much in cruise right now, so. All right. Um, let's see, we got a couple guys right here. I'd say area is pretty clear. Um, reference point, I'll just go ahead and use that high rock layer right there. Um, altitude, I want to say about 45, air speed. Typically about one tw uh, 100, so let's take oh, a little power we'll Start back slower here. down, we'll get a clearing turn in. Um, so generally, you're going to be about 19 inches. At, to get to 100 when you, when you start it. Okay. Once you start into the turn, I find that 22, 23 inches works good within the turn. Okay. 
And we'll do a left and a right and see if, we, see if you can get the bump. Alrighty, so back on my, go ahead and just press our heading, that's where right, we're at. there, we're at 4500. Go ahead and start making that left turn here. I see you're right about 19, so push her in like 22 degrees. I'm crossing 30 degrees, adding in that power, getting us over to 45. Look at him show it off here. Alright, coming around on our reference point now. Gonna be getting uh, that level off, take out that extra power. I was gonna say, that yeah, a little power stick, she'll balloon in and a heartbeat. And going back right into the right here, added that go. power we took out. And, as a fellow CFI, the key to doing steep turns is eyes are where? Outside. Outside, definitely. Watch that vertical speed, you'll drive yourself nuts. Don't do it, don't do it. There we go. Oh, he was close, he was close. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's my reference point. We're clapping around now. Start that game level off, take it out that extra power. And boom, nailed it right on there. Ooh. Very nice. Alright, so... Felt good about that, not too bad. All right, we'll go ahead and do that slow flight. Let's do slow flight. Generally um, about 59 to 60 is where the horn goes off. We're just following the landing flow, so going to fuel pump, prop forward, mixture forward as well. Uh, no, you can leave mixture alone. Actually, okay. you can leave prop alone too. Kind of just leave it where it's yep, at. Yeah, that's all good. Okay. And, and um, we'll just get her down full dirty, land, <laughs> landing configure. Gotcha, all right, so we'll go ahead and take out power below 91 is what we want. Landing, uh, typically what Manifold, uh, inches of manifold, would you okay, put say, it on to I wouldn't start? worry about it. Just pull her back okay. until you get her down to where the horn goes. And then whatever it takes to hold her there. Gotcha. Uh, so you're below, you, you can do your first notch flaps, you're below 108. Uh, Actually, you can put second notch in, you're below 91. Below 91. And just keep her, so I'm going to reset your altitude to 40, okay. uh, 46. 46. Uh, I'll give you 47. How's 36, that? Yeah. That's about where we are. And let's see how close we are. 59 to 60 is usually where we get the horn. Nine, so I'll start adding in some power here now. Here she is, right on cube. There we go. Which is right on spec, because 49 is the stall speed. So we forgot about the fuel pump. Whoops, go ahead and switch that okay. on. All right, and I'd say we're in slow flight right now, about five knots above um, stall speed. A little above, okay. A little above, so maybe you can take out just a tiny power. And whenever you want, give me a 90 degree to the left. 90 degree to the left. All right. About no more than five degrees, I think. Oh, nice and easy. Right, and then what heading? Like north? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That should get us past that little bunch of clouds. All right, so let's do a power off stall. We'll just we'll pull power back. We'll nose her down, get up to set five approach speed. Uh, just bring her back into a stall and recover. And you're just pulling this back all the way? About 1,000 RPM. About 1,000. All right, we're past 70, so I'll let that nose come back down now. And get a nice little destabilized descent in. Up, simulating approach to landing, final approach. Put on in. That's right, we're coming on in, okay. we're going to start in that flare, go power idle. Get that nose back up, about to the horizon, what'd you say? Just keep, just keep slowly keep pulling back, in. just keep slowly pulling back. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Oh, there's the brake, there's all right, brake. Reduce down. Contact, full yep, voice, and, full yep. power. And she'll want to nose down heavy, you're going to have to kind of control her. Gotcha. But you see how she'll just buff it, until, unless you pull her into the brake. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you want to try one more? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's try one more. All right, let me get back up to a good altitude. Because you got to teach people to do it right, so right. it's good good that you have them in this plane. All right, going in, stabilize approach. we got our landing uh, flaps in. That power, maintain altitude, a helpless bleed. Airspeed, once we get to 70, we'll let that nose come on down. Getting that stabilized ascent, we're coming in to land. There we go, that's looking pretty stable, we're right at 70 knots right. here. Yep. Go ahead, we'll start that flare, we're going power idle. And we're starting to flare, we're flaring way too much here. Just keep bringing that nose back. More, 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 oh. more, more. All right, reduce there, angle there attack, go. level wicks, yep. full power. See how she waited until you gave her that last little bit of stick? Yeah. There you go, beautiful. Cool, all right, all right let, let's uh, let's clean her up. Well, let's take her, let's do a takeoff. We'll do a power on stall takeoff configuration. So gotcha. bring one notch of flaps up. Below 108. And this will simulate you've messed up a takeoff somewhere along the line. Gotcha. All right, so and takeoff speed, usually I'll put it maybe like 65, slow down to. Sure, sure. Slow down to, so we're just taking back that power now, get to a 65 here. Once we get to 65, we're gonna kind of show that we're doing a go around. That we messed up. Just kind of do too much of a pitch. And she may not break, it depends on the day. Sometimes she breaks, sometimes she doesn't. Okay. All right, there's 65, we're gonna go around, so let's go full power, and we're just gonna keep that nose going, going. Get back. A little slower on the back pressure. And 
and there's the buffet. A little bit of brake. There you go. There you go. If you over pitch her, you will start to see some red chevrons coming yeah. down to push her down. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with all that. You're yeah. acing this sucker. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Davidson, do a couple landings. All right. Don't tell me. All right. So uh, kind of like that pre landing flow would be about prop forward. Same question mark check. So. I don't do prop forward, rich anything, till we cross 1,000 footers and downwind. Okay. So you can go up and get downwind. You can keep her at about 115, 120 knots. Um, and then I start and everything at 1,000 footers. Okay. We have final call to the north east, to your left cross lane, runway 16. Um, Davidson County Traffic, Archer 0, Sierra, turn left downwind, runway 24, Davidson. I do 90 downwind, 80 base, uh, 70 on uh, final. final. For, Unless uh, it's bumpy, then first. I'll bring it up to like 75. Okay. Um, and then I usually, and you can do whatever you want. So I usually get, get her down to speed at the thousand footers. Put the I used to the flaps in. Oh, whoops! Or took the flaps out. Oh man! We didn't miss our clean. Oh, there. Discontinuance. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, God, I hope we didn't over speed them. I wasn't paying attention. We were, you we were slower now. But that's why she was descending slowly. Yeah. Whoops. Um, we're gonna edit that out. Although that stupid lights there, people are gonna see it. We'll, we'll just <laughs> cut. We'll just cut to the new scene. Davidson traffic, Diamond Star 526 Delta Sierra is final for runway 24, David. All right, it's pretty smooth today, so 70 should be a good approach speed. Okay. Lee Norman Travis Galaxy 663 X-ray is very much. Appreciate that, zero else here. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Last below 191. Oh. No problem. Going about power idle here to let us down. We're a little high. Right, there's that glide slope, so we're right on. Up, you're a little slow. Up, there you go. Up. There you go. All right, then you can just pull her back. Okay. There you go. For the shot. There you go. Now just pull her back. So we're about 75. A little hot. She's going to run a little ways down the run. Okay. okay. Power to idle. You can pull the power all the way back now. Power's all the way and back. Just keep riding her. She's going really fast. Go ahead, right, go flaps yep, to yep, take off. Yep, yep, watch your there you go. All right. That was fine. I mean, we got a little chirp, she might have been a little off on but yeah. yeah all, right. all right. So, if you want to do one more, if you just want to head back and do one there, I'm fine with either way. Uh, I'll do one more and then one on the back of that, okay. sorry. Okay, okay. I don't like the way this pappy's calibrated. A little weird. To me, it looks saying. a little low when, you're, when it says you're on live. It's just my eye. From the northwest. Yeah, a little burst of power. Setting up for entry at 03. Still in the mid-six, there you go. There you go, now you're back. Keep that nose up. There you go. All right, go flaps. Feel the way that nose just kind of wanted to slap down when we yeah. hit. Yeah. Nine rotate. Oh, double take. Oops. Oh, stall warn uh, warning. Warning kind of chokes me up a little bit. I used to hear it screech so much. Well, yeah. On, on final, you were down about 62, 63. Yeah. And you powered back. You got her almost back to 70. All right. So maybe coming into final, I could have added a little. A little more let it longer. Let it run for a little longer goes back to my statement I usually have a little steeper final approach than what that Pappy's given us really so I get more cruise speed when you okay. when you tighten it out like that you're gonna have to keep a little more power in there to keep her going cool all right uh, yeah that was better you saw you give her a little burst get her back to speed when you actually hit the threshold you were about seven cool all right we will go ahead flaps up and then once that's good we'll go before RPMs. Yeah. I'll have to look at the video. I think your nose might be just a fraction right, the right. Um, on touchdown. Okay. Um, not, not, you know, we're not feeling a bunch of side lobe. Should be off to our front. Oh, I got it. You got it? Okay. Traffic inside, 6 Delta Sierra. 6 Delta Sierra, follow the Cherokee runway 2, number 2, clear to land. Runway 2, number 2, clear to land, 6 Delta Sierra. Hey, see how if we get that little steeper angle, she holds speed really nice. Yeah. Nose to the left, nose to the left. Eric, right there, right there, right there. 
There you go. No chirp. There you go. It's everybody like four to five degrees. No, uh, well, in your case, it'd be left of center line. Right. Um, it's perfect. That was a greaser, baby. Oh, Look at you. <laughs> Look at this guy. Third time's the charm. Oh, I like it. All right. That was the landing you wanted to leave on. All right. Yeah, so like I was saying, I think your nose on those first two was just a scotch to the right, and that's okay. why we were getting the chirp. I just had a little, got a little left rudder in there. Oh. All right, cool. 